Hey friends, welcome back to Storytime with Mr. L. Today I want to show you one of the most beautiful picture books that I've read in quite some time, but of course it's not a surprise because it's written by Aaron Becker, who is one of the greatest wordless picture book authors that we have, and this one is called The Last Zoo Keeper. And if you've read any of other Aaron's books, you know that you start a story and it just grows and just told all through pictures, and it's always just fantastic artwork. And in this story, we have this robot who is the last zookeeper. And this zookeeper is living in a world that has been flooded by water. And so buildings are underwater, land is underwater, and he has been tasked, I don't know why, we're not sure why, with taking care of pandas and tigers and elephants and a number of other animals and we think about who built this robot and who asked this robot to take care of these animals and is the robot ai and did it decide to take care of these animals itself does it think for itself does it feel and as the book progresses and the water gets deeper and deeper and this robot has to make decisions about how to save these animals, what to do with these animals, and basically puts them more or less into an arc. I won't tell you what happens after that, but it is exciting. It is gorgeous. It's one of those books that you can read. When you finish it, you're going to go right back to the beginning and read it again because you're thinking, this is so cool. And I just want to start over again and see how Aaron Becker created this story just with his artwork. So if you're an Aaron Becker fan or if Aaron Becker is new to you, go out, The Last Zookeeper, such a fantastic wordless picture book. You're going to have a great time. Happy reading. Bye.